get away to where the boat is from. It takes away all of your big problems. You can worry, you can drop them in the blue ocean, but you gotta get away to where the boat is from. Good afternoon, you two pipe community. This is the Pipe Smoker here, back with my third installment in the tin opening series. I've got a bunch of good uh, comments and suggestions and replies on the two previous tin openings. So I'm going to continue with this series because I think it's pretty cool. And some, some of the responses I feel you guys do as well. I was going to try to say that I'm going to open a tobacco today that no one's seen before. And then pull up Escudo Navy Deluxe. As part as everyone has heard about this tobacco on the internet. And if you have not heard about this and you're a pipe smoker, then you're living under a rock somewhere. Um, it is caught fire. Um, it's almost, I, I equate it to when Mississippi River came out a couple years ago and that spread like wildfire. Every time I go online, I'm hearing something about Scudo Navy Deluxe. So, this is going to be my new tin opening for this week. Uh, I did my review on the Dunhill Flake. Uh, if you have not seen that, go back in my videos and you guys can see my full review on Dunhill Flake. So, I'm going to read you a little bit of the tin description from Escudo. A combination of full-bodied Virginia from North Carolina and Virginia blended with Perique from Louisiana are the cornerstones in the Shkudo. The blend is pressed and matured before it's spun and cut into coins. The process ensures the unique character of the Shkudo. Uh, and a side note from tobacco reviews, um, I did note that it says, sorry, my camera's falling down here, produced by the Cope Brothers from 1912 to 1936, at which point they were brought, bought by Gallagher. Gallagher produced a until 1944. A and C Peterson began production in 1997 with the original presses until the year 2000. After uh, some time, Scandinavian Pipe Toba Scandinavian Tobacco Group in Athens, Denmark began to produce the mixture. Scandinavian Tobacco Group is also the same people that produce all the Dunhill blends, the re um, Dun Dunhill blends, among many others. So, as I said, it is a vapor, Virginia Perique, Perique from Louisiana, and it is a curly cut. This is the 50 gram tin that was purchased off of Pipes and Cigars, and I got it on June 1st. So let's crack this bad boy open and take a look at these. Okay, so typical packaging, it looks like the Dunhill blends, um, their packaging. I mean, it is done by the same company, so. All right, so I'm gonna see it for the first time as you guys see it. Boom, look at that. Look at all those coins. Look absolutely gorgeous. Mmm, and they smell phenomenal. Let's take a look at all these little bad boys here. These little curly coins here. I don't know why you can see that in this light, but phenomenal. You can see the Virginias, and you can see some of the darker Periques. I mean, look at these. Look at the little pepperonis. I mean, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, I will be primarily smoking these for the... Uh, let's see. The moisture content's a little wet. Uh, I'll probably rub them out like I always do, and then I'll let them dry for a little while. But nothing too doesn't feel too crazy. I mean, they're breaking apart pretty easily from the coin, the spun coin. Um, but so primarily for the next two weeks, this will be my primary go-to smoke as I make my notes in preparation for um, a review, which is going to be one of the million reviews of this tobacco on the internet and especially YouTube. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. All comments and suggestions are greatly appreciated. If this series sucks, let me know. If you think it's the greatest thing ever, also let me know so I can continue um, doing these as well. All right, guys, and once again, this is Escudo Navy Deluxe, and thanks for watching.